Hey Run Junkies, welcome to Runners Without Limits TV. As runners, many of us feel like we are getting the most out of our training when we are running a lot, logging the miles, doing the thing. However, without regular strength work, our running will suffer. Too often I've heard athletes who slack off on strength and eventually they pay for it in some kind of sidelining injury. Just like foam rolling and stretching, strength is a critical aspect for a runner to prevent injury. So today, I'm showing you five beginner exercises to increase your stability and strength. If you are new to strength work, this video is for you. I'll be showing you modified versions of a McMillan stability workout. This will be a great place to start, and as you progress, you can either add weight, change position, or add elements into this, into each of these exercises. This workout can be done two to three times a week right after your runs, starting with one set and progressing up to three sets. This workout can be done at home with little to no equipment. For the rows specifically, you can use a set of dumbbells, a TRX, or a resistance band. You know, let's just get this thing started. First up is the dead bug. We're gonna start lying on our back with our arms straight overhead and our legs bent at 90 degrees. We're gonna engage our core by pulling our belly buttons in and pressing the back down toward the floor. Drop one arm and the opposite leg. Repeat on the other side for one rep. Only drop as far as you can to keep your back against the floor. You're gonna do 10 to 20 reps of these. If you wanna make it easier, you can take the arms out of it. If you wanna make it harder, you can add a resistance band around your feet. Next up is the lunge matrix. You will do a forward lunge, a lateral lunge, and a reverse lunge on one leg, then do a forward, lateral, and reverse lunge on the opposite leg. All of that is one repetition. Make sure your front knee stays over the ankle and push with your glutes, squeezing back to standing. You'll do five to 10 reps per leg. And if you wanna make this tougher, add dumbbells. Next up are my personal favorites, push-ups. Yes. <laughs> All right, start in a high plank position, or if you need, you can perform this from the knees. So keep your hips up and keep your wrists under your shoulders and engage your core. FYI, there is no shame in doing push-ups from your knees, folks. Don't let anybody tell you different. Inhale as you lower your chest to the floor, keeping elbows out slightly, keep your hips up. Do 10 to 15 reps, and if you need to make this easier, you can perform push-ups from a bench. Next up is the standing bent over lat pulls or rows. So you can do this with resistance bands or dumbbells, or if you have a TRX device, you can do that as well. So if you're using a band or the dumbbells, you're gonna hinge forward at your hips and engage your core. Keep your back flat and your elbows in. When you're using the resistance band, pull very carefully with the band under both toes. When you're using the dumbbells, make sure that you're keeping your arms close in and your elbows in, or your hands in hammer position. Keep those elbows tight to your waist. If you're using a suspension trainer, you're gonna stand facing the anchor point, your suspension straps at mid-length. You will keep your elbows in and stand just leaning slightly to begin the wrap. Keeping your body in a plank position, lower yourself back and then pull yourself back up, keeping everything in line. Last up is a plank with shoulder taps. You're gonna start in a high plank with your wrists directly under your shoulders, engage your core, keeping your head in a neutral position. Slowly tap your shoulder with the opposite hand, trying to keep your hips still. Repeat on the other side for one rep. You'll do 12 to 20 reps. If you need to make this a little easier, you can keep your feet in a wider position or perform this from a bench. And that is your five moves for runner's strength. This is a great place to start if you're just getting into strength work or take any of these moves and work them into your regular running and strength routine. The bottom line is that runner strength workouts like this don't need a lot of time or equipment. 
but they go a long way toward keeping injury at bay. But what do you think? Please leave thoughts, questions, comments, and suggestions for future videos in the comment section down below. Please like, subscribe, and share. We will see you on the next one. Until then, remember you have no limits. Happy running.